it's a beautiful day. And you're probably asking yourself, why would a guy be on the water on a day like today? Well, there are two reasons. As a matter of fact, they're both new from Humminbird. It's the Helix 9 and the Helix 10 units. You probably heard about the Helix 7 that won Best of Electronics at ICAST. Well, the Helix family has grown. It has two new big brothers, the 9 and 10. They've got the same features as the Helix 7. Big widescreen where you can look at multiple technologies. Really bright so you can see them anywhere in the boat. But these two are supercharged with a couple new technologies. I'm on the water and I want to check them out firsthand. You know, in life it's a little things. In this case, it's the cover. The Helix 9 and 10 come with a rubberized cover and this thing is bulletproof. I promise you, as you're driving down the road or trailering, this thing is not coming off. All you have to do is take it off. It's a flexible cover, so when I put it in the rod box or into my storage containers, it doesn't take up a lot of space and it can flex without breaking. So here's what I mean about clear and bright screens. I'm at the console and all the way at the bow I can see the Helix 10 bright from here. Going 0.9 miles an hour, it's 63.7 degrees is the surface temperature. And you know what else? It's 27 feet deep. I got that from the front of the boat, I can see it all the way back here. In my Helix 9 I've got a Humminbird Lake Master Plus card and what that means? That means I get one foot increments under the water but above the water I get satellite detail. Take a look at that point. It's got the trees that come near to the water's edge, but you can see how that extends all the way out into the middle of the river channel. It's a great place to find fish. Now, the Helix 9 and 10 are built faster. That is a ton of data on a card to get through a unit, but even at high speed, they still keep up with you. So I was in 60 feet of water, I came up on a mid-lake island and I've got fish all over the top of it. This is obviously a place where fish want to hang out, but I don't have a map. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn on what could be the best feature about the Helix 9 and 10 series. It's the auto chart live function. Watch how easy this is. I hit menu once and menu twice to go back to the main menu. All I have to do is tab over here to where the Humminbird chart options are and I come right here to auto chart live. It's off. I'm going to turn it on and now I just back out of there. So watch this. I'm going to put the boat in gear. Just nice and slow. I can go up to 10, 15 miles an hour. You can actually even do this on plane. Let me zoom in here. I'm actually making a map right now. There's a contour that's coming, 66 feet of water. I'm going to go back and forth over this area and make a detailed map of a mid-lake hump. I promise you this is going to hold fish not just today but all year long. And when I'm done with this deal, I got the data on my Helix forever. So as I'm mapping this mid-lake hump, what you should know is your Helix 9 and 10 units come with eight hours of auto chart lab mapping free. It comes right in the box. But if you want to map some more, or you have some other lakes that you want to do and you need to map more than eight hours, pick up a Humminbird Lake Master Zero Line SD card. I've got one in there. It'll literally allow you to map for years at a time. You may not want to do that, but what you can do with this card is I can take this data and email it to a buddy and we can exchange hotspots. You don't have to upload your hard-earned data to a cloud or to a server. You get to choose who you want with the Humminbird Helix 9 and 10. So I'm on this mid-lake comp and I see a giant tree there. I just marked a waypoint, waypoint number 70. The nice part about when you're doing auto chart live, you're gonna see some things that you wanna come back and fish. I just dropped a waypoint back there. I'm gonna come back and drop a line on that one. One of the great differences about the Helix 9 and 10 from the Helix 7 and Helix 5 is that they're networkable. And that means they share data. Right now you can see I've got the Minn Kota stored. It's not even in the water, but I'm getting sonar data from the transducer off the back of the boat. Look at that bait ball, that is huge. I can see that all the way in the front unit. I'm gonna take a waypoint, marking that. As you can see it, look, there's the bait ball right over the tree and right there, that's awesome. One of the most incredible advances in technology is the iPilot link system. It hooks your Humminbird unit up to your Minn Kota Tarova motor, and it basically acts like your personal chauffeur. Watch how easy this is to use. I'm gonna go over here and I'm gonna pick a contour. We've seen a bunch of fish in about 30 feet, so I'm gonna pick, eh, actually the 30 foot contour. I've cursored over to that and I'm gonna hit go to. Now, I'm gonna hit follow the contour that pops up, if I want to go to the left, I'm going to follow this orange line 
If I want to go to the right on that contour, I'm going to follow the blue line. In this case, I want to go to the orange. So I'm going to hit the arrow right there. I'm going to select the speed that I want to go. I'm going to turn this up a little bit. It's just that easy to run iPilot Link with your Humminbird Helix and your Minn Kota Tarova. Those are just some of the big new features that set the Helix 9 and 10 apart from everything else that you're going to look at. As an angler, there's a few of the new features I'm going to use every day when I'm on the water. There's just too much to go into detail, so make sure you stop by your local retailer. You're going to want to get your hands on these really quick.